Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file. We started up in a prior presentation, noting that we're in the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top, switch the view on down below, duplicating some tabs to put some reports in, right click in the tab up top to duplicate it, right click in the duplicated tab to duplicate it again, back to the tab to the middle, we're going to go to the reports on the left hand side, open up the balance sheet report, tab to the right as it's thinking, reports on the left, this time we want the P to the L, the profit to the loss, closing up the Hamburgy and changing the range, 01025 to 06325 and let's see this on a month by month breakout so we can see those timing differences we've been focused on and they are beautifully timed with regards to the revenue and the expenses in the proper time periods let's go to the tab to the left and close up the ham boogie and change the range 01025 to 1231 not 1231 let's go to 06325 and let's see this one on a class breakout it's okay without the classes but it's just leveling it up when you have classiness involved in it as well and so let's go to the tab to the left and we're down to the projects on the left we're in project number two recap in an excel format of what has been done we started out with an estimate based on that estimate we came out with a billing structure the billing structure is not according to what actually happens but according to the pre-assigned billing structure we're going to be charging the client we charged them a starting point of the ten thousand basically deposit and then we had the actual items that took place broken out between materials labor and overhead for what we did and we recorded those in the format of cost of goods sold and figured out what our revenue should be on more of a completed a percentage of completion type of basis so that we can then record our revenue based on these items as opposed to on our billing items and we did that through our whole process here and now the job is done and we can see that because our revenue is now at the 2377 which was our starting kind of projection for our revenue and we have then our our working process and our billings account uh tying out here for the most part it being off by rounding a difference of a rounding so now all we need to do is close this job out at this point in time and from a journal entry perspective that's quite easy i could just zero uh these accounts out when we look at this same thing on the quickbooks side of things note if we had multiple jobs in play it becomes quite nice on the balance sheet that we have it broken out by class this way because the classes give us that nice breakout so if i if i change this to 123125 for example and i had multiple classes then i can see this work in process broken out so i could see you know that quite clearly that they that, you know that we're done with it and if i go into it if I didn't use the classes, I could do it this way as well. Here's my detailed report that I could break out by customer. Uh, but remember that if you do it this way, you would need to make sure that you have the customer names, which is another reason that the invoice is a, is a nice form. It's nice to use an invoice as opposed to a journal entry because the journal entry might limit the kind of naming structure over here. And we'll take a look at that uh, shortly with this last bit. So I'm going to go back on over and so let's record it with a journal entry and then we'll go over and do it in QuickBooks. So I'm going to make another blue section for that last journal entry down here. And it was so even before, but now I got this one last bit hanging down here, whatever. And this is going to be on five, five thirty-one. We're going to close this thing out. And I'm just going to say that working, let's do the billings needs to be debited did, 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 did. debited by 100,000 and the whip the work in the process is off by a, like a rounding difference 10001 needs to be a negative for the credit side of things and that'll basically uh balance uh take this balance down to to to, to zero donut it out at the zero so let's go into the uh, billings first. I'm going to say F2 plus F2 and just zero this thing out. 
No effect on the income statement. Billings down to zero. Mui B to the end. And then in the work in process, the other side of things, F2 plus F2. Roll it on down. Work in process. And it goes to zero. So that so now that everything's closed out and basically the job's done, there's our our checking account, which matches the the net income. We're off by rounding difference here so that's okay that's why we gave that rounding range for our greenness down here and then the 2377 uh, which is our profit matching what's in our checking account because we've only been recording transactions for this one particular job which of course matches our estimate that we had over here because we made it all work out uh perfectly in that our expenses matched exactly to what the estimate is now in practice you might have a difference of course between the actual expenses that you'd have to adjust for kind of like at the end or, or as you go but we don't want to get into i just want to look at the revenue recognition at this point in time maybe we'll get into more detail with that in a future problem or something but uh so so let's do that over here now we now naturally you might say the first form to use would be a would be a journal entry and you could use a journal entry uh, however, like if you're trying to sort, like we saw with this account by, 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 uh, internally, uh, by name, it can cause a bit of an issue and it might not be as easy to see if I go over here in customer number two and look at the detail. This, these, these items are usually going to be populated when I use forms. So let's do it with a journal entry and then I'll delete it most likely. And I'll do it with like an invoice so we can see kind of the difference. So I'm going to say it would be most natural to someone like me who's I learned accounting before software to say I'm just going to do everything with a journal entry, right? Even though that's not usually the best practice because there's a reason that the software is designed to do stuff with the forms. So so I'm going to say in any case, if I did it with a journal entry, I would just go, okay, there's a debit here. This, this billings needs to be debited just like we did billings debited uh by 100,000 and to close out close out out job number one uh, number two and then the name i do have a name field here which i could put the customer and i'll put uh project two and hopefully that will show up in the name field but i have some doubts that it'll, it'll do what exactly what we want and i do have the class tracking ability uh which is nice so i could still assign each line item to a class which will be helpful with the journal entry and then the other side is going to go to uh whip work in process work in process work in process and that's going to be 10001.2 10001.2 and the name also is going to be project two and the class is going to be project two to close out this thing. So that should do it in terms of, of the journal entry, but let's see if it does everything we would like. So please balance. It's not in balance. Okay. I'm off by that. And so the difference, I'm just going to put the cost of goods sold of the two of the 110 because it's in material. I want to put it to an income statement account so that it'll close out and and wash out in the closing process instead of being on a balance sheet account where it'll hang around right i want it to disappear because it's in material let it wash out to retained earnings or capital account or equity or whatever so save it and close it and then we're going to go to the tab to the right and run it and so now it's nice and closed out and the billings account is closed and the or billings and work in process so if i go into the work in process however 